Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hello guys, thanks for joining us today. We are inside one of Merlin's magic rooms where he works on potions. It is a pretty cool room, and I am excited to see some magic. The only problem we had is number one drank one of the potions in the room called invisibility, and now he's invisible, and we can't find him. Hey, number one, can you just tell me where you're at? You guys can't see me. This potion is great. Okay, just like potions, you have to do math in the right order. Take a look at the order of operations, and we will see if we can find number one by then. Hopefully, he did his potions in order. Evaluate the expression 8 times 5 minus 10 divided by 5. To evaluate this expression, we need to follow the process called order of operations. It's the order in which we perform the operations in the problem. We can use the acronym PEMDAS to help us to remember the order of operations. We can use the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to help remember what PEMDAS means. P stands for parentheses. We always start with performing operations within any grouping symbols like parentheses, brackets, or absolute value bars. E stands for exponents. Multiplication and division. We will always read a math problem from left to right and top to bottom and perform multiplications and divisions in order as they appear from left to right. And finally, addition and subtraction. Again, we will work the math problem from left to right and top to bottom and perform any addition and subtraction in that order. Okay, let's look at our problem. In this problem, the operations from left to right are multiply, subtract, divide. But following the order of operations, we need to multiply and divide first before we subtract. So the first thing we're going to do from left to right is multiply. 8 times 5. Well, that gives us 40. So we rewrite the rest of the problem. 40 minus 10 divided by 5. Next, we need to divide, so 10 divided by 5 is 2, and we leave the 40 and minus sign. So now we subtract, 40 minus 2 is 38. Nice work! If we did not follow the order of operations, the solution would be totally different. Let's see. If I would just work the problem from left to right, we would still start out with 8 times 5, which is 40. But then we would subtract. 40 minus 10 is 30. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 is not the correct answer because we did not follow the order of operations. All right, let's try another problem. Use the formula for the surface area of a cube a equals 6s squared to find the surface area of a cube with a side length of 1 half. In this problem, we need to start by substituting 1 half into the formula for s, and then we're going to apply the order of operations. We'll look at the exponent. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So now we need to multiply 6 times 1 fourth, which gives us 6 fourths, and that fraction can simplify to 3 halves. So the surface area of the cube is 3 halves square units. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is A equals 1 half H times the quantity of base 1 plus base 2. If the h equals 4, 
Base 1 equals 3 and base 2 equals 5. What is the area of the trapezoid? First, let's substitute the numbers for each variable into the formula. This gives us a equals 1 half times 4 times the quantity of 3 plus 5. Now we're going to apply the order of operations by starting out within the parentheses. 3 plus 5 is 8. Now we need to multiply 1 half times 4 times 8. Well, 1 half times 4 is 2, and 2 times 8 is 16. So the area of the trapezoid is 16 square units. Looks like number one did not do the portion in order. Now he's a llama. <laughs> Well, I hope you all learned about the order of operations. The number one hopefully learned his lesson. Just wait for Merlin. Next time, wait for instructions instead of jumping into it. He got the wrong order. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.